today is the day after your Darby Pass. It is actually, why do I say good morning? Afternoon, late afternoon. It is like 3.07 right now, and I only just now finished editing the vlog, which, oh, I loved it so much. It was so fun getting to edit and just like relive yesterday over and over again. I'll probably watch this vlog like 10 more times before you come home. I'm about to post it live, but yeah. It's been a busy morning, lots of work happening this morning, but I love you. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from Finally time to make this baby live. That's right, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it now. Tomorrow I'll be healthy, but today I'm eating ice cream. Alrighty, just got a text from Krista. She's outside with Archer and has a kiddie pool ready, so I'm taking the pups out. Okay, guys, remember not to kill me. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh, this was bad. <laughs> oh, shiz, he's already gone. Who has to invite it? <laughs> get it, Range. You get the water. I've never seen him like it. Get it. He doesn't like to really get wet. I'm surprised he isn't rolling yet. Oh, you getting in? You getting him, buddy? Wow. Oh my god. Oh, Tracker! <laughs> yes! He is loving it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Archer's like licking the water off of Tracker. That's so funny. Range, you are hysterical, buddy. <laughs> you are gonna be so wet, man. <laughs> you gonna get in the pool now? <laughs> oh, thank you. Do you like that football ranger? <laughs> Try oh my gosh, she came out with a huge stick. <laughs> Good girl, Jacker. Oh. Jack, are you flirting? <laughs> Are you flirting? <laughs> that was so much fun just letting the puppies play and run around and they were loving the water. I've never seen Ranger get so excited about the water like that before. I wish Harold was here because he would have loved to see that. So luckily, honey, you can watch this once you're back. But I'm going to write you a letter about it because it was so funny. All right, guys, we need to have a little chat here. I'm reading over some comments and... D hide 14 don't know where you came from don't know if you're just having a bad day but you know you sparked something in me and I feel like I need to talk to everybody now I'm not really one to let hate comments or just mean comments in general get to me um, and on a personal level it doesn't really get to me uh, but the thing is it strikes a chord with me because of the topic the topic is something that affects a lot of women a lot of people in general but specifically i've seen so many women struggle with this so we need to talk about it so for a little bit of a background d hyde decided to leave me a nice little comment that says the girl is cute now but i can tell she's going to be a big woman when she gets older then leaves me another comment that says she's going to be so fat after she has a kid and things won't be so giggly and happy when he loses physical attraction to her and previously left a comment saying, you guys will be divorced soon, lol. You're still in your young giggly, everything is perfect honeymoon phase. Reality will hit soon. Well, D Hyde, I've got some things I would like to tell you, okay? A, your comments, they don't hurt my heart. For me, they hurt my heart for you. Because guess what? Love can last, and I'm tired of people thinking that just because we're young and we're in love and we're happy people that that means that soon that's gonna fade and then we're gonna end up getting divorced like i'm sorry like life is hard okay life is really freaking hard my life right now is pretty freaking hard at times my husband is gone climbing mount everest now he's gone climbing ranger school he's gonna get deployed at some point it's not like i'm living in some like 
pretty little perfect bubble over here. The fact is, I love my husband, but it's hard, but I choose because love is a choice to continue to love my husband because God is in my life. He is in the center of our relationship and with having God as a center, he can put that love inside me that I can then love my husband. I can forgive him when times are hard. I can see comfort from God when I can't have it from my husband, but we vowed to each other that we are going to love each other through anything and everything and work through it. And as long as we keep God at the center of our relationship, then guess what? We're going to do that. So I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I would like you in the rest of the world to know that love can last. And yes, it's hard, but yes, you can work through it. So that rant is over. We can talk about that another time, but love can last. It's a choice. It's up to you. You know, if it starts fading, then work on it. You know, when the times come, if I get fat, if my husband starts to lose attraction to me, guess what? That's my job to make myself, you know, healthy, make sure my husband's heart is in the right place, make sure that we're both seeking God, we're both asking God to, you know, give us love for each other, whatever. It's a choice. You can choose. You don't have to let everything just fall apart. You know, you got to constantly be working at it. It's a constant thing. It's not just, oh, it's great now, and then... We're just going to not nurture our relationship or anything. That's how things fall apart. It's constantly working at it, constantly making that choice, nurturing it, working every single day to become the best person that you can be, not just for your spouse, but for God and to just be the best human that you can possibly be. And if you want to talk about weight, that's great that you think I'm going to be a big woman when I'm older. Heck, I could be fat after I'm pregnant. Guess what? You, your body is incredibly awesome because God made it that way and yes as a woman your body grows and it stretches and your hips may get bigger and whatever happens when you're having a child but it is a beautiful gift to bear a child to have a, a child that you made life that God put inside of you that is a beautiful thing and if you see it any other way then you know what, that's your problem because that's not the way that I see it. That's not the way that my husband sees it. When I'm pregnant, when I'm huge, when I'm after I'm pregnant and I'm still massive, my husband is still gonna look at me probably with even more love in his eyes. So I'm just really sorry that you feel that way. And you know, if later on in life I am bigger, that's okay too because I don't really freaking care what you think. I care about my husband and he's gonna love me. And if I do gain weight, because guess what? People's weight fluctuates. My weight fluctuates all the time. And it's like, I'm not going to be living my life to like, you know, care so much about my weight because I'm trying to enjoy my life. Like, yeah, I like ice cream and I like cookies and I'm going to eat those things. And then sometimes I'm going to have a salad and I'm going to work out and I'm going to find that balance. Sometimes I'll weigh 10 pounds heavier. Sometimes I'll weigh less, you know, it's like, but whatever. Guess what? My heart is always the same. My husband loves me for my heart. That is what he finds most attractive, and that is what I find most attractive in him. I don't care if he gains 50 pounds, loses 50 pounds. Well, if he lost 50 pounds, he, we'd be in trouble because he's a skinny man. But my point is, like, I'm sorry. If that is, if that is how you're seeing someone for their value and their worth in your love, like, something is wrong in your heart, and you need, you need to go figure that out. But I also want you to know, everybody to know that your words hurt people. And I'm okay, I'm fired up right now, not because I'm hurt, but I know how much that words can affect other people, you know? And if I were younger, if I didn't have a relationship with God, then that would probably hurt me. That would cut me down. That would make me feel like less than I am. And I know if you're saying those things to me, Dehyde, then you are probably saying those things to somebody else. And that's going to hurt somebody else a lot more than it's hurting me because I believe what God has to say about me, which is that I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. And I don't believe what you have to say about me. Anyways, rant is over. Just know your words are powerful and love can last. You got to work on it and... That's my ish. You guys, I apologize. I didn't mean to get so heated uh, talking about that earlier. You guys might not see that side of me quite often because it takes a lot for me to get like fired up or, you know, I mean, I would, it doesn't take a lot for me to be passionate about something, but to like kind of take me off, it takes a lot. Um, and I guess I just wanted to like reiterate. It makes me so upset because I've seen one too many girls 
who truly struggle with their weight and therefore struggle with their self-worth and it honestly breaks my heart I completely breaks my heart and I, I honestly see it every day I see it so much and it just it hurts me you know because I just know in their minds they associate you know if I'm not skinny enough and I, if I don't look a certain way then I'm not worthy of love I'm not good enough for this person no one's ever gonna love me and those are all lies if there's a person that doesn't love you because you don't look good enough or you're too heavy or you're too skinny you're not muscular enough whatever it is that person doesn't truly love you anyways um and God is always going to love you for who you are no matter what and he sees you in the most beautiful light ever and the person that he chose for you is going to see you that way too. That man or that woman is going to look like you with like so much love in their eyes and their heart and they are going to see you just the way you are as the most beautiful thing ever. The most perfect. The most perfect weight. The most perfect shaped eyebrows, the most perfect legs, the, like the most perfect butt, whatever it is, whatever your insecurity is, I promise you the right person out there is going to look at you with so much love. So please don't associate your self-worth with any of these things. When, when people say things to you, don't take it to heart. Like that just breaks my heart and that just means honestly they don't have God in their heart and and they don't know so instead just pray for them I'm praying for you Dehyde because that hurts my heart that you feel that way and it hurts my heart that maybe you're telling that to other people uh, so anyways I just want you guys to know your self worth and you are so freaking loved like in every single way possible and you are so worthy of love <gasps> You guys just deserve the world and I don't want you to think any less of yourself ever. Um, so anyways, on that note, I'm going to end this vlog because now it's become pretty long and chatty. Um, but yeah, I love my husband and he loves me every inch of me and in any way that I am, you know, and, and vice versa. So let's just end the vlog here with love God, love people, make a difference and be thankful. And I mean everything that I say when I say that. First of all, love God because that's where you're going to get your love from. That's where you're going to be able to forgive people. That's the way you're going to be able to serve more, to be a better person in every way possible. And that's going to be how your marriage is going to last, how your relationship is going to last because you're putting God first. Love people. After you get that love from God, then give it to other people because clearly there's people out there who aren't loving on other people and this world needs you. This world needs your love. This world needs you to make a difference, to get out there, to use your skills and your gifts to change people's lives and you can do it. So don't be afraid. Don't have fear that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy because God equipped you with special gifts and he wants you to use them. And of course, be thankful. Be thankful for the, all the great things in your life and be thankful for God that he loves you and he thinks you're beautiful and he thinks you're worthy. Oh, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I truly love you and I truly appreciate you and I truly appreciate the support always. Dehyde, you must be new around here, but that's not how we act in the Earls fam, so... Hopefully, maybe this changed your heart a little bit. If it didn't, I'm praying for you, buddy. All right, love you guys. Bye. See you. I told you I'd be here. <laughs> I see him. I see him. I see him. Watch out. Honey. <laughs> oh, <honey. laughs> <laughs> <laughs>